All right, we are going to finish this game, surely. Please. <laughs> they can't be that difficult. Like, I've managed one, two, three, and five. There must be just some little decision that I'm not seeing that I can make. I need to find it. I don't know if I'm, like, if this goes quickly, I may just cut this together with the previous footage. Um, if not, then this is the last video, maybe. <laughs> it depends. It really depends. I'm just assuming that if I spend a decent amount of time, I can get these, surely. Surely. And that one, I just need to get the star. Which one should I do first? Should we do the climb first? Okay. I can do this. And my problem is... I know how to, like... Work my way up to the top, like this, sort of. I can get this far, and then I can get even further. I drop, I jump, I move. I don't technically need to move again, I can just wait. And I go here, you jump up, I step on top of your head, you go up there. Perfect. The next one can't happen because... Because Moon can't get underneath you in the right column. It happens there, and we've just wasted an entire set of things achieving the thing. I don't know how the star's gonna get hit unless we're climbing over the top of that thing, but I tried a bunch of like trying to climb on the moon. The other option is that you go left. Right? Like, it, it makes sense that one of these times you have to go the other direction. Just as a little twist. That doesn't work because I get crushed. And the only way to not get crushed is for... is to wait. And then... I mean, I'd have to wait even longer, right? I have to get underneath you. So I have to wait, I'd have to drop, I'd have to jump. And then that's the best I can do, I guess. And then I, I can get underneath you, I can go here. But then you can't go high enough up. I'd have to jump before that happens. Which isn't gonna happen. Alternatively, if you went a different way, if you were going left here, then you're not getting up onto that one. <clears throat> unless you were unless you were falling up into the right here, so up into the left, because th then I've done nothing. Okay, so for you to fall up into the right there, I'm just going through the same stuff I did last time. <laughs> You'd have to get that way, and then I'm crushing you. I guess I could wait. How long can I wait? Not very long. Yeah. But I'm gonna get crushed. Okay, so could I... Could I do this differently? Like, not go immediately, then go down. That doesn't work. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to make it so that when you're here, you can go this way and you don't, get, don't crush me. Because if, if I could do that, if I could drop, Jump. Go right, right. I could get underneath you, jump. Wait, one, two, three, jump. You'd be up there. You wouldn't get the star. That'd be the next problem. <laughs> the 
So yeah, making this possible to happen is what I want to do, which means in this situation here, wait no, so first steps get you to there, so at this point you're on this one, then you get on the next one, so it's here I want to go left instead of right, I think, in the second night, is that right? So if you do that, and then do this as I've been doing, you go up, you go all the way to the top. So I want to go left here instead of right. Is that okay? Can I do that? Well, I can't go left there unless the, the moon had gone right before. <clears throat> so I have to go here, jump. But if the moon goes left, I'm not going to be able to get you where you need to be. So is it possible that the moon went right on the first one? Surely not. No, because I, I have to lift you up. I can go right, but I need to lift you up. And that's not going to happen. Uh... Yes, not possible. You can jump then, but then you're not going to be able to get underneath you. Go left, but surely not. This can't work. You're only up for that moment. Like, if I could get underneath you, maybe I could make that work. Left, left, underneath. I can only go one space further that way. Uh, if I don't jump there, I jump here and then wait. Go down, here. Does this take you up? No. Do you then do the. Yeah, you do. So what's. What's going wrong here? You're going, you're undoing your right. I can't stop that. It doesn't feel amazing to be like trying every option. What if like every step is done slightly differently? <laughs> so at this point, I want the moon to be going left, well, in the next thing. <clears throat> so, but I want you to get up there. If you're going left, then you can at most go one, two, three. So therefore you have to be falling this way. And then we're dead. Wait, go that way.
Oh, hold on. Let's go under. This way, this way. I just can't see any other ways of doing this. This way because I'll get crushed. This way I can go. If you stayed on top of me instead of jumping so many times. On top of me, stay on top of me, jump. Is that new? Is that different? <laughs> I'm still gonna get crushed. <laughs> uh, is that different? I don't know. Wait, go. I guess if I wait, there's only three turns, and then that means one, two, three, I don't get to jump, which is what would lift you up to the next thing. So you can't wait. But if you can't wait, then you're going left. What am I missing here? If you can't wait, then you have to go left, otherwise you're, you're crushing me. But then one, two, three, four, I can't get close enough to this. So there must be some way of being able to do this after waiting. Like, is that wrong? Did I have to go th right three times? I mean, I did, right? Right, right, right. Like none of this is gonna work if I don't do all of that. I don't have to jump stay on the ground. So wait, go, go, sure. But I only have three turns. If I stay on this side? I guess I could wait, you could take me that way. And that's all of your, your falling upwards done. I can't wait, I have to go. 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 If you were falling off the other direction? Okay, you're on my head. I need that high enough. Because I need... No, I haven't wasted any turns here, right? Okay, but then that means you need to have, yeah. One, two, three, I need to jump. You hit the ground, right, when you fell. Down, left, right, up. Down. Left. No, you didn't actually. So, what if you hit the ground there? Uh, down, left, 
right up. I'm not sure how relevant that up is. That puts you on me, and we go here. Now, if only you were falling further. For you to fall further, you need to not be in the way. So if I wait, feels bad. Well, it only feels bad because the weird way you're moving. Wait. Go. Okay. Okay. So now there's a turn where you're waiting and I can go down. Something like that? Well, that's interesting. Okay, so now that fall is at the end of your thing. Am I able to make it so that... So the fall's at the end, i.e. I'm falling at the beginning. <laughs> Go this way. Maybe don't move at all. Jump. Or oh, jump. Jump here, why not? Oh, because I get crushed. Jump at the end's not likely to be meaningful. So jump there. And then also do this. That's an interesting move because the sword ends up moving in like a zigzag pattern, but not onto me. Unfortunately. Yeah, if it were onto me, that would be good. But I'm just gonna get crushed there. I could stay on top of you, I could stay stationary. Don't understand why it would be better, it's not. Wow. So this is the only way I've found where I can have this fall on the fourth turn, which is what I would need for you to be able to come underneath and lift you up. But that means there's be a jump here, so but then you crush me. How would I stop that? So I figured out I can wait. Can I wait twice? Surely not. No. I don't really have many other choices, do I? There's two places I can jump there or here. That's not useless because you fall down immediately. Like here would be the best place. What if I jump before I fall? That doesn't make any sense. Also, I get crushed. <laughs> Can't do that. Let's go left for some reason. Uh, you left me over here. Guess you're just waiting there. I need to be under you. Wow. I do not understand. Okay, so this move where I can like 
wait one then go that works because or only because you fell the full distance yeah well, if you fall this way I guess uh, no way that's gonna work Well, I don't need to be up in the air all the time as well. Whoa. I've only fell the other direction. <laughs> Yeah, so that only works because you're falling to the right and you manage to fall the whole distance. There's the whole distance. But I cannot get on top of the moon. And if the moon went that way, one, two, three, four would be here. It needs to be there. I guess to get the star, if I'm not going over the top of that, to get the star, there has to be a jump before my fall? <laughs> How can that be true? Jump before my fall and then somehow in the next two turns, We get on top of, so if we jumped, slide underneath, oh, we can't get there, it's way too far away. Unless somehow you can be moving more than one space at a time. But you can't. Unless you're gonna be floating or something. Like can you be carried on top of, No, no, no. At least I'm having like new ideas, I guess. <sighs> yeah, to get the star, there has to be a jump and then a fall. But you're just gonna get crushed. So if that happened, how would you get into this column one space further up? Because it has to be one space further up. You'd have to land on this. So that would have to have already gone. Oh, in fact, so go, 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 do that. Jump, land on you, wait, wait. Why, have I, why am I not falling upwards? Because this is my movement right now. Yes, okay. Jump off, maybe, or something? <laughs> now, can I get you back into that position? <sighs> maybe jump off now? <laughs> Wait? Something here is going to work, but I don't know what. That? <sighs> nope, nope, nope. Because I also need to jump up. Wait, what happened there? Such a weird little dance that's going on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm again not thinking about the fact that the sun is reversed. If somehow the sun could fall, jump, fall, and then do something so that when night begins, wait, when night begins, what happens? Do you do your first turn or not? 
Oh no, you reverse. Oh my gosh, you reverse. Okay. <laughs> so all I care about is that you reverse back onto the blue. So maybe that movement's bad. So don't move there. Then go, then go. Okay, that's interesting. Then jump, if, if I think that's going to help me get the star. Then drop off here. And then do something. I haven't figured out this turn. Sure. Jump on top of me. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Same thing every time. Like, yeah, you need to come back on top of me immediately. That would have to be your last turn. He's like, that needs to come back on top of me. And then I'd go left, left, j jump, but I don't have time to jump. I have to be here already, but I can't be here already because I respawned there. So that's impossible, right? <laughs> You can't just like be on top of me and then I move too. Unless of course blue is riding on yellow. But it's not. If you don't wait, then just go. And then I jump and drop. I mean, I still land on you. Okay, was I wasting a turn there? Maybe I was. I need to do that Z, that Z shape at some point. So maybe here we do it now. Let's jump. <laughs> no, why not? Drop down, Z shape, come here. I mean, okay, so if... If we didn't do the jump at the start, would this work? No, because then they get crushed. <sighs> Z shape. I could leave the Z shape for one more turn. That's not a Z shape. It's also totally the wrong time. The problem is on the next turn you do your jump, which isn't high enough. So you need to have hit the ground instead of me. Okay, so if you jump and go down, how would I hit the ground instead? Are you waiting? Sure, we can wait there. Uh, jump. Go. But then we're going to get crushed. <laughs> like, how much waiting can I do? Like, not much, right? Do that. Then wait. Oh, I can... No, yeah, I said I was waiting once still. So I can wait in the second space and get crushed. You jump and I can land on top of your head. And I can do the Z shape now, sure. Which feels better, maybe. <laughs> it doesn't matter though, because by the time I'm there, which is three turns away, as the moon, it's it's too late to jump. It's too late to jump, which would be fine if you hit the ground instead of me. You are hitting me because I'm waiting there. What if I wait here instead? Then it doesn't work. Or if I move and then wait. Well, then you're going to crush me. <laughs> I 
Like, this can't work. For you to hit the grounds, the blue would have to wait on the first turn. And then you're going to get crushed unless, like, the blue can wait a bit longer. Problem is, I don't know if everything up to now is right. Land. If you're gonna go up this way and you're gonna get that star, okay, let's try and rule it out. Try and roll it out. For that to work, for that to be the ending, falling up and then jumping, the last two turns of this have to be the falling up and jumping. Which means that here we jump and then fall. Which is what I'm doing. And then that means that... What does that mean? That means... I mean, all it means is that by then, I keep thinking of it as like, oh, that means now you have to go two spaces to the right, but no, you can do whatever you like, as long as by then you're in this column on top of your head. you to start early unless you ride on you so you jump down like that so you, the blue could be riding on the yellow on the orange when does orange no because the orange is going backwards of course So you just can't get there and jump. You'd have to get. You have to move two spaces and jump in two turns. That's not. It's not possible. So I can rule that out. Yes. Yes. I can rule that out. Unless there's some way that like you can fall like in a single move to like an S shape, is that at all a thing that can happen? I don't think so. Well, I mean, yeah, I've seen S shapes. How does it happen? By you being, by you walking off a thing and then being pushed. So jump, walk off, get pushed all in one turn. Potentially? Moon can push sun. Yes, that's the only way it can happen. Well, so what am I saying? That you drop down, and we do this. Well, no, you'd have to go like this. Do you even need to be here? How high do you get up? There. Yeah, okay, you need to be underneath. I mean, we have to do like this. And then you... <sighs> Jump. Drop, get pushed to the side. 
try to go a bit back that way. <laughs> go one space back that way, I guess. Drop one, two, three, if you were on my head somehow. Uh, you maybe do an S shape and get up there? What? possible. Oh no, why did I say this would be the last video? Oh, I'm right back at the start. Okay. I don't think this beginning bit can happen any differently. Uh, I say, I don't know. Like I don't have to jump there. I didn't have to go right twice in the, the daytime. Here we are, right at this bit. You've gone all the way up there, lovely. Now you jump and you go down. And then you... Stay over here. <laughs> There's just too far to go and then jump, I can't do that. Especially if that, yeah, if that jump is there at the beginning of this. But if I go first, then I get crushed. So the jump like feels like I might as well do it. But I obviously can't move far enough. So is the S shape happening? <laughs> like, am I getting there with you on my head? Then you go, whoa, and hit all the things. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Surely, okay, could it happen? I need to like actually rule it out, I guess. So. Moon would have to go something like this, this. By this point, you've jumped and fallen, so you'd have to push to the left. And you have to still get up there somehow. <laughs> I guess if you're falling the other way, maybe it could work. But then you're going to get crushed, right? Yep, you are. Almost. This is like the same problem, but on this one now. because you get crushed unless you went to the right but you can't go to the right because then you can't push that any further over and yep that's all my troubles <laughs> and you can't go up this way right Come down here, you wait. I go here, I block you. If you jump up, but then I can't get there. Yeah, I can. Oh, but then you're gonna move. Oh, hello. Have I done that before? It's 
now I'm going left on the previous one. No. Ah, so B's not going to drop down all the way. That's interesting. So now I can drop there. That is different. I've definitely tried to do that a million times and it didn't happen. <laughs> this does feel new, maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. I can't keep track of all this. So it's interesting, I can drop that way if I want to without getting crushed. I can also drop that way without getting crushed. What do I want? What have I been doing? <laughs> I think I've usually been dropping down this way, right? Then jumping and then going da da, and then you come down, you get underneath, and we lift me up. So if we do this instead, can I do something with this? Like I might be able to then get under you and okay, this is different. We're doing it on the opposite side. So now you're going left instead of right, so I can I can not worry about getting crushed. What? This is about to work, right? If I jump up, you're gonna go there. I'm not gonna get the star. Oh my god, I did the level though! <laughs> what? So the thing I was missing was something I can do at the start that I never realized would work. I was trying this before though. I definitely remember doing this, jumping there and going here. And I remember doing this thing as well and being like, oh, I can't get you to be on top of me and go there. What? Apparently I can? What was I doing wrong? <laughs> oh dear, okay. Uh, so this is probably the setup for all of this. So you're gonna go this way, jump, go right. You're gonna go here. So now I don't have to push it as far, because it's on the left. That's much better. Okay, so getting the star means doing this, right? And then this. Maybe that? Doesn't feel amazing. Or does it? Apparently it does. What? <laughs> okay. I'm trying to comprehend what just happened. I'm doing it again. What? What? So this bit I get now. Yep. I mean, it's just the same thing, but going the other direction. I wish I swear I tried. I must have just they're doing some part of that slightly wrong, but it feels like the most obvious way to do that, so I don't know. Um, maybe I also thought I wouldn't be able to drop to the left there because they'd get crushed. It's possible, and I just never tried it. Not sure. What on earth did I do next? I guess I jumped. I went down this way. I jumped up, you went underneath me, and I went to the right. So the going to the right will happen. The jump will... Is that not a jump? Yeah, it's apparently a jump. Why aren't you jumping? Then the fall and the... Yes? Whatever, okay. <laughs> Too complicated. I, I tried to do a like, I, I remember being like, oh, maybe I just have to like, instead of going up the right hand side of things, try and go up the left hand side of things. And I tried it and I just figured it was not possible. And it turns out it is. So that's the thing that was holding me back there. What's holding me back in number six? <sighs> Metro. What's holding me back here? I'm almost certainly going left. Like, why would this exist? And jumping up there to be that platform, right? Okay, let's just imagine what else has to happen after that for everything else to work out. 
Also, I'm always certain I'm not, the sun's not getting the star because if it were, it would have to like fall backwards into that area. Then it would be offset badly and it wouldn't be able to get back up here. So the moon's getting the star. So let's assume that's the case and that you're using these spaces. So you're going to do this and you're going to go here, you're going to jump up. Then I'm just going to walk to the right for now. Okay, what needs to happen? So that's three turns undone, right? A, oh, not, not undone, it's in, in order. The left has happened, the right has happened, the right has happened. Yep, now the up is going to happen. Yep. Now what needs to happen after that is that you go in and get the star. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you go and get that star. Needs to be a jump at some point. So wait, that's the up. The up is happening. We've got three turns left to get to there. Then I have to help you. Then I'm... Okay, let's imagine then that what's happening is I'm coming down. But maybe I'm coming down like really late or something. To like interact with you at that point. Oh yeah, what if I'm lifting you like all the way up here and doing something with you? Ooh. Oh, that seems like something I might not have thought about. Uh, like how, f how many turns is this? One, two, three, four, five. So that might be right if I just wait here. I, the little dance I did up here, I have no idea if that's the kind of thing I want to do. Now you're going to take me up? You are. And that's going to mean I end up here, right? Because I'll be one off. Will I end up there? Maybe. And then jump. I'm not going to end up at the moon. This feels close to something though. Go, go. Oh, interesting. And I'm set back slightly. Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's so close. Okay, you went up and got the star. Pretty sure that's not going to take me to the star, right? Like, I, don't, I, I have to do the jump. Or maybe I don't. What happens if I do that? Oh, but now I'm stuck down here. Wait, why am I? Oh, because you fell. Why did you fall? Because you didn't go that way. Okay, so I'm going to ride this. Ooh, that's interesting as well. So I'll float along. And then drop. I'm not going to get the star though. I'm going to get to the moon this time, but not the star. Oh, don't fall yet. Drop. Yeah, don't get the star. Okay. How can that be any different? How can I get the... If the... If before you fell... Okay, I think I've got it. I've got it, I've got it. Before you fall... We... So that bit's not necessary. That is necessary. <gasps> I think I've got it. I think I've done it. Uh, uh, what am I doing? This is not the right thing at all. Left, right, right, jump. I knew what I was using this for as well. Drop onto you, we go up, and we're hitting the star now. It's one, like, smooth motion. And then right, right. That's it. We are done. Down. Across. Across. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, those were hard puzzles. That was really cool, though. I did really like those puzzles. There were a bunch of really nice puzzles towards the end of the game. Um... Damn, I was, and I, like, 
it's one of those situations where you're not sure whether to you're not sure whether it's because the puzzle is too open that you're getting stuck or whether you're just not being smart enough and I think I just wasn't being smart enough so the the, the puzzle beat me <laughs> in this situation um, I think I mean I mean okay so it is true that I mean okay hold on change chapter you're not telling me there's more no, there's not more. Okay. <laughs> that is the end of the game, as far as I can tell. It doesn't appear to be any credits. Does anything change from the fact that oh, there's some credits here? We can get to this. I mean, so it's definitely still true that there are some aspects of the game design that make it feel more open than it necessarily is, or just make it difficult to think about. Um, because A, the motion is hard to predict, especially when it's rewinding and all sorts of things. Like you really have to experiment, which is why it's crazy that there's a mechanic that gets rid of being able to visualize the stuff that's like, <laughs> With 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 mechanics that work like this, removing the ability to visualize it is the worst possible thing to do. Um, but yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to predict. And you have to like experiment to see where things are going to end up. And that means when I've got like... <sighs> Like it's hard to consider every option and and not only that but be sure that i've considered every option and the, th the very interesting thing is this is exactly the same stuff i've been saying about being a nothingness recently i don't say this about every puzzle game but there are certain puzzle games that have these qualities that lead me to feel like i can't possibly keep track of how it works and therefore what my options are and therefore what I explored even because I'm like have I done this before I don't know because like I can't keep every sequence up, of ups downs lefts and rights in my head um, so yeah just yeah so while those puzzles are really cool and I like the tricks that ended up being involved in them their complexity combined with the way the those qualities of the mechanics makes it at least for me kind of too difficult in a way that isn't as satisfying even though the solution itself is satisfying but the the beating my head against like have i tried this before do i need to try something else i mean missing something i don't know it could be any of these options that's the less satisfying part of it um so yeah it's interesting but they are still well designed given the way the mechanics works though, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I would I would scrap the time freeze mechanic. I think it's pointless. <laughs> totally pointless. Uh, it's and, it, and it's weird in that it it shows up for two constellations, so it already feels a bit inelegant. Like, why is it around sometimes and not around other times? Like, maybe if there were some... No, no, there's no reason to hide... Hide my ability to visualize what I'm doing. Just don't do it. Uh, it's like a... It's like putting blindfolds on the player. <laughs> like, maybe okay is a joke for, like one thing in an optional side quest thing or like at the end of the game is a little joke but not as like a this is going to show up for 24 levels of the game no no thank you um i would get rid of that and i do feel like a lot of the puzzles that were used in those sections those chapters were already covered by other puzzles like the only thing novel about them was the fact that you couldn't see what you were doing. If we get rid of that, we can get rid of the puzzles because there's nothing novel about them at all. I mean, maybe there were some that had interesting things going on that weren't explored elsewhere, but I'd say mostly it was mostly already explored. Um, 
And it's interesting, there's also that aspect of the time freeze where, like, technically the rules are slightly different because of the fact that you can input directions that you otherwise wouldn't be able to input. And that doesn't get explored, and I'm glad that doesn't get explored. I think that would be a mistake. However, that's another reason to, to show that the time freeze mechanic is inelegant. It breaks the rules of the rest of the game slightly. So just another sign that's like, oh, maybe this shouldn't exist. Um, and if it did exist, and for some reason we wanted it to continue to, to exist, I think the rules of the game should change to match the way it works in the time freeze thing, where you can always input a direction regardless of whether you can actually move that way or not. And I can't quite tell if there would be a fundamental difference there, except when there are day and night blocks. Like, when there are day and night blocks there, I can see that that would make a difference because you'd be able to move into a day block when it's there, and then when it's night, that motion would happen. I mean, no, I can see there would be differences. You'd be able to queue up things, queue up moves that and then offset the sun character, and they would do those moves even though they couldn't actually move that direction. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, and something, yes, like, it would have been nice to find another way of thinking about the way that jumps are resolved. Like, the way it rewinds to halfway through a jump, kind of get used to it, but, like, never fully. To the point that, like I said, I, I felt like even towards the end of the game, I'm still estimating. I'm not, like... Like, the, the, I think the ideal situation for a puzzle is that you can look at it, you can do the deductions, and then you see the solution. You're like, oh, okay, I know what I need to do. Instead for this, it's like, oh, there's this thing that I might be able to, to do, but I'm gonna like try. And I can't tell whether the things that I'm inputting are actually gonna do that thing. <laughs> I'm just estimating and hoping that it will. <laughs> If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so like, I wonder if there's like some slightly more, I'm going to use the word elegant again, a slightly more elegant form of mechanics that are more predictable. Um, it, it is really interesting the, the how this game and being a nothingness are nothing like each other, but the the things that I'm talking about like reflecting on and critiquing are very 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 similar like very similar problems um, and, and I guess I want to be clear that I still really like the game <laughs> I just like find it interesting to think about the design and talk about it um, and even though I do consider them like problems in quotes what I really mean is like that inelegance, or like there's something about it that's like not quite as not quite as streamlined as it could be. However, a the the art and the polish was really nice. I really like the characters and the color schemes. Like clearly, um, you know, a lot of. Uh, consideration was put towards making a game that felt and looked nice and yeah just and the music and everything like just the, the experience of playing it is a, a joyful one and um, and the mechanics are really interesting like it's a cool idea cool premise um, and the puzzles were actually really well designed like other than repeating things in repeating things in the time freeze section and there may be being a bunch of puzzles that I could suggest cutting because they were like oh that felt like it was suddenly very easy like something I'd done earlier other than those like there are a bunch of great things there that all felt like they had their own twist to them and the fact that the mechanics led to all those different twists is great um yeah uh what else to say? There was something else I wanted to say. Um, I don't know. 
Here's all the developers. Creative director, technical director, level design, visual, uh, and yeah, visual effects, I guess. Uh, composer. I was thinking like, oh, is, have they actually have they used VFX to be sound effects? But no, that would go with composer, I guess. Although, who did the sound effects? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the polish is really, really nice. Um, oh, the only other thing. Okay, yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention was like some tiny like usability things. Like if I undo and start typing in new inputs. I would like to be able to still see what I had before, but like grayed out or something, so they're like less visible. Um, I would also like to be able to undo or restart after the level's complete, because that gets quite frustrating if you like complete a level accidentally and then still want to know what you did, you've lost it, it's, it's gone. Um, any other things like that? Oh, yeah, and the input. Um, the, like input lag when when you're like when a turn's happening the fact that you can't input anything uh just makes it quite tedious to like unlike especially levels with lo like longer timelines to input all of those inputs uh it could just take a while when i i know what i want to do i want to press up right uh, like in the time fr this is one of the nice things about the time freeze mechanic is that there you can input as fast as you like <laughs> That's, that's what it should be like normally. I get that there's animations, but just skip the animations if I'm like queuing up inputs. Just skip them out um, and let me input as fast as possible. That would be wonderful. Um, so yeah, there's just a few little usability things that would be nice to, to tweak, to tidy up a little bit. Holy moly. There's still a right arrow, even though I can't get to the right. Okay, there's another usability thing. Oh no, wait, what? It's gone. Uh... I think I found a bug. Why is that now? Okay. Now it's behaving okay. I think clicking on that arrow that wasn't supposed to be there confused things. I'm not sure how that happened though. Maybe if I go out and back in? Does it put me on that chapter? I think it takes me to the beginning, doesn't it? The first chapter. No, it puts me on this chapter with a right arrow that doesn't work. And I think clicking that a few times messes things up or not. I don't know. Something else happened, I guess. Anyway, cool. Cool game. Um, it was very enjoyable. I did a lot of these last videos like all together, so I'm a little exhausted. But um, yeah, very cool. And there were a bunch of puzzles towards the end that I'm I thought were like I just it's interesting how it managed to like some of the maneuvers I was doing like getting especially getting like uh the moon character to do as a result of being pushed around and carried around by the sun it's kind of like I would not have predicted I'd be able to do that kind of thing early on in the game it's interesting that that is possible as, as a consequence of the mechanics so yeah that's pretty fascinating um anyway cool back to the credits uh Thanks to these people for making the game, and I'm on there as well. <laughs> One of the special thanks. Uh, yeah, cool. I will see you next time for something new. Goodbye.